Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on computer networks. Today's session is on network topologies. So, I will be explaining you the different network topologies that exist in computer networks. So, let us first define the word network topology. So, what is a network topology? It describes the way the computers are connected with one another. And moreover, you should know that there are two different types of topology. One is the physical topology and the other one is the logical topology. The one which you are studying here in your syllabus is all about the logical topology. Look at the statement. It describes the way computers are connected with one another. Suppose if these are the computers, so what exactly you are trying to tell is in what way these computers are connected. In physical topology, you are only describing the way the cables are connected or where the computers are positioned in a building. But in logical topology, it describes the way the data flows from one computer to another computer. So if you look at this diagram, the way the computers are connected using the cable is the physical topology. The way the data is flowing between the computers describes the logical topology. Is the data flowing in this manner from this PC to this PC, then from this to PC to this PC or is it flowing via a centralized device first the data travels to some centralized device and from there it flows to the next pc that is connected to this centralized device so there are various ways in which the data flows between the pcs so those ways are described under the logical topology so let us see the different logical topologies that exist the most common network is the local area network first thing is you should know that whatever topologies you are studying is under the local area network which interconnects the computers These are the different topologies that exist in the lo local area network star topology bus topology ring topology mesh topology apart from that you should be knowing about the hybrid topology at least some information about the hybrid topology and the tree topology diagram for the bus topology is shown here in this topology the computers are connected to a shared cable called bus straight line what is shown here in the diagram this is called as the bus what is bus it is simply a cable okay to this cable are connected all the different pcs so here in this diagram i have shown four pcs pc1 pc2 pc3 pc4 all the four pcs are connected to this cable and if pc1 wants to send the data to pc4 all other pcs connected to it also receive the data so here is your pc1 pc1 is the source it wants to send data to whom it wants to send to pc4 so if it wants to send to pc4 the data when it is placed on the cable and the cable is shared hence all the pcs pc2 pc3 will also receive the data apart from pc4 that means all pcs that are connected to the shared cable will receive the data if there are 10 pcs connected all 10 pcs will receive so this is one problem here in the bus topology but one thing is that since the data is intended only to PC4, so PC4 will accept it and all other PCs will reject the data. This is the working of the bus topology. But for every topology, you should also know what are the advantages and disadvantages. First one is in bus topology, it is easy to install. Of course, it is easy to install and it is less expensive because just we require what to connect all the PCs, one cable, easy to install. So you can always keep connecting the PCs to the cable as and when you want you can keep adding the pcs to the cable what are the disadvantages of the bus topology limited number of computers can be connected in the bus topology why because the strength of the signal decreases if the cable length is increased see if the cable length is increased definitely the data which travels from the one end of the cable by the time it reaches the other end of the cable the strength of the signal will decrease one more disadvantage here is if the cable fails since this cable is the shared cable if it fails then the entire network will collapse that is the bus topology has got little fault tolerance third disadvantage here is the security risk because it is shared cable and the data is also moved to all the PCs that are connected, even PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4, all PCs receives the data. Hence, there is a possibility of what the data that is confidential is also heard by all the systems that are connected to it. So, we say this problem as the security risk. And the last disadvantage is if, if more than one computer sends the data at the same time, there is a chance of collision and we call this as data collision next one is the star topology in star topology you can see that there is a connecting device networking device called as switch or you can make use of hub also 
either switch or hub to this centralized device you can connect the different pcs so the in what way the data is flowing here if any point of time if pc4 wants to send the data to pc1 pc4 will first send the data to the switch the switch will send the data to pc1 so it is only through the centralized device the pcs can exchange the messages or the data and we call these pcs as nodes even in the bus topology since not just pcs you can connect a printer a mobile phone any device that's connected to the centralized component becomes the node so here your printer is a node pcs are node if you are connecting a laptop it becomes a node if you are connecting a mobile phone it becomes a node so every node is connected to a central device and the central device can be hub or it can be a switch but what is the difference if you are using the centralized device as hub then the transmission is broadcast if the centralized device is switch then the transmission is unicast so what do you mean by this broadcast and unicast if you are using hub as a centralized device the hub will always take the data suppose if pc4 wants to send to pc1 but the hub will take the data from pc4 and it will send to all the pcs that are connected to it pc1 pc2 pc3 pc4 or any other node that is connected to the hub all these nodes will be receiving the data so we call it as broadcast it receives from one but it sends to all so one to all is broadcast if you are using switch as the centralized device and then pc4 wants to send data to pc3 then it only sends to pc3 only it is called as one to one one to one communication is called as unicast so that is possible with the help of the switch so preferably the switch has to be used here because we don't want the other nodes that are connected to receive the packet when it comes to performance this star topology gives the better performance because the data does not pass through every node unlike the bus topology the complete data flow is dependent on this centralized device if this fails then the entire network will fail so that points you can categorize under the advantages and disadvantages first advantage is it is easy to install easy to troubleshoot also because you can identify which pc is giving a problem here then easier to add nodes you can keep on adding the nodes to the switch and if one node fails the remaining portion of the no network is unaffected that is correct because if pc1 fails pc2 pc3 pc4 the remaining pcs or the remaining nodes that are connected to the switch can exchange messages and here most important thing is there is no collision because you have a dedicated link between the node and the central device you can check here there is a link between this printer and the switch there is a link from pc1 to switch there is a link so every node is having a dedicated link to the centralized device so there is no need for any node to wait until the other node sends data to the switch in bus topology there was a possibility of collision because the cable was shared with all the pcs that are connected to it when it comes to disadvantages more cables are needed central device is needed as it is expensive so you need to spend to buy this centralized device the hub or the switch the central device is a hub the data is broadcast which creates unnecessary traffic this point already i said because hub is what it is going to send the data to all the nodes and that will create traffic in the topology and if the central device fail the whole network collapse this is the biggest disadvantage here the next one is the ring topology in the ring topology the pcs are the data flow is in this manner you can check here the topology the data is flowing how it starts from one node it moves to the other node that means only in the clockwise direction the data is flowing from one pc to another pc if you see here suppose if pc1 wants to send the data to pc8 though pc8 is placed here immediately adjacent to pc1 only but the data has to travel from pc1 to pc2 pc2 to pc3 then 4 5 6 7 7 and then it comes to 8 so only in the clockwise direction the data flows here in ring topology so you can see here all the nodes are connected in a ring form the data travels in a circular fashion to reach the destination the topology works on the token based system and token travels in the loop if the token is free then the node can capture the token and attach the data and the destination address to the token and then leaves the token when the token reaches the destination the data is removed by the destination node and the token is free to carry the next data the data travels only in one direction 
so to make all the pcs get a chance to send the data there is a token based mechanism in the ring topology so whichever pc holds the token that pc can send the message and to that token is what the data is attached the destination host after receiving the data will release the token then the token is free and the token can be used by any other pc to send the data so token is a frame wherein the data as well as the destination address is included and it travels in the ring topology this ring topology is popularly called as token ring topology what are the advantages it is easy to install and it is easy to troubleshoot also because we can locate that node which receives the data from the upstream node and it reduces collision and also in this topology no collision exists you can check here there is a dedicated link existing between every pcs when it comes to disadvantages data transmission is slower as the data has to travel the entire network to reach the destination as i already said the data has to completely travel the entire network in order to what reach to the destination node if the destination node is present to the extreme end of the ring topology it is difficult to reconfigure because we need to break the ring to add or remove the computers whenever you are adding a pc or removing a pc in this ring topology it is difficult because each node is connected to two other nodes the right node and the left node and hence to add a node or to delete a node it is difficult fourth type of the topology is called as the mesh topology in mesh topology you can check here how the pcs are connected every pc is connected to every other pc if this is pc1 pc1 is connected to pc2 then pc1 is also connected to pc3 pc1 is connected to pc4 pc1 is connected to pc5 every pc is connected to every other pc in the topology similarly pc2 if you check it is connected to all the other four pcs pc3 is also connected to all the other four pcs so it looks like a mesh when you see the cables that are con connected between the different pcs so that's why the name given is a mesh topology now one thing is in this mesh topology there is no centralized device even in the ring topology you observe there is no centralized device so but in ring topology the data has to travel in a circular fashion passing through all the pcs whereas in the mesh topology you have a dedicated link existing between every pc right so you can easily send the message to that pc the other pcs need not forward or carry the data of a pc so we say each device has a point to point link every device is connected this point already i said every device is connected to every other device in the network in the same topology you can always say that you have either simplex links or duplex links what is the difference between the simplex links and duplex links is the links are there exclusively to receive the data and there are links existing to send the data that means separate link is there to receive separate link is there to send the data so that is how though in the diagram we are showing like this with one link if you have a separate link that means within this link there are two different cables one cable is meant to send the data and another is meant to receive the data so in this cable itself you can imagine that internally there are two wires one to send the data and one to receive the data so we say such links as the simplex links so if you are connecting four devices in the topology then per device you will be having how many links three links and the total number of links will be how many there is a formula here n into n minus 1 so four devices in the network into 4 minus 1 you need to do 4 into 3 12 12 links are there if you are connecting how many four devices so if four devices are used i'll just show it in this manner simplex links one link shown in the diagram but internally what it will be having two links here one exclusively for sending the data and one for receiving the data 12 links now if you are having how many n equal to 4 four nodes are connected in the network in case of duplex links you are using only one link only to send and receive both this sending of the data and receiving receiving of the data is happening only via one link between the nodes that exist so if there are four nodes then definitely how many links are possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 link and you can check with the formula also for duplex the formula is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so 4 into 4 minus 1 
थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज सिक्स वट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस इन एडवांटेजेस फॉर द मेश टोपोलॉजी नो ट्रैफिक इश्यूज बिकॉज यू कैन सी देर आर डेडिकेटेड लिंक्स एक्जिस्टिंग बिटवीन द नोट्स सिक्योरिटी इज मेनटेन्ड यर द मेसेज और द डेटा नीड नॉट गो वाई आर द डिफरेंट पीसीज इफ वन लिंक फेल्स इट डज नॉट एफेक्ट दि होल नेटवर्क इट हेज गॉट ए गुड फॉल टॉलरेंस वॉट अबाउट डिसएडवांटेजेस Difficult installation. Every node to every other node needs connection. Here also, whenever you are removing a node or you are adding a node, then it becomes difficult because you can see that every node has to get connected to every other node in the network. And because of the mesh topology, the number of cables are more here, and it will increase the cost. Number of cables required depends on the number of nodes. If n equal to five, then you are making use of ten cables. That too, if the transmission is duplex. If the transmission is simplex, then you will be requiring twenty cables here. As I said, apart from those four topologies, you should also be knowing about the hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is a combination of various topologies. Various topologies, whatever you have studied here, I am showing one example. This is the bus topology. Okay, the bus topology in turn is what having a connection with the star topology. The star topology is having what in turn a connection with the ring topology. so combination of various topologies is called as the hybrid topology and the other one you should be knowing is the tree topology here all the nodes are connected in the form of branches of a tree the combination of the bus and star topology is called as the tree topology you will be having in tree topology one central cable okay one main cable to which what you can have the star topology here connected to this main cable and here also there is one star topology you can have which is connected to the cable and then you can have what the star topology connected to this cable if you look here when all this uh, see normally for the bus topology what you were doing is you were connecting to the central cable the different pcs right there was one shared cable and you were connecting pc1 pc2 pc3 in this manner to the bus topology this is the central okay now instead of just one pc here the complete star topology is connected so that is how, what we call it as the tree topology this is all about the network topologies in computer networks hope you find this information useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care